listen to, to a jubilant song. For we sing, for we sing, for we sing, for we sing to the joy of life and youth, and the joy of a glad light beaming day. Oh, 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 o
Once again, thank you, choir. That was absolutely beautiful. Dr. Thomas A. Kazee, will you please step forward and join me at the podium? Dr. Kazee, the Board of Trustees is pleased first to award you this Purple Tam in recognition of your rank as full professor. You join the many University of Evansville faculty who have already been given this honor based on the depth of their service to students, to their disciplines, to their colleagues, and to this institution. Do you promise to keep in mind, whoops, do you promise to keep in mind as a member of the faculty that the first duty of a university is the pursuit of academic excellence? I so promise. Dr. Kazee, the Board of Trustees has selected you as the 23rd President of the University of Evansville. As symbolized by this charter, we entrust into your hands this academic institution which we love with its 156-year history rooted in a mission both sacred and civic, and with its promise to future generations of the value of an education rooted in the liberal arts and sciences. Do you promise to help nurture this institution so that it continues to provide life-transforming educational experiences that prepare students to engage the world as informed ethical and productive citizens. I so promise. Dr. Kazee, like the 22 presidents who have preceded you, we look to you for the wisdom and courage to maintain and nurture the intellectual spirit that is found in the pursuit of knowledge and education in general and at the University of Evansville in particular. Today, with full confidence, we welcome you into the distinguished company of scholars and educators who have had the privilege and responsibility of leading this university. And now, as Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the University of Evansville, and by virtue of the authority given to me by that body, I invest you as the 23rd President of the University of Evansville. Your name has been inscribed on the university medal, and we place it around your neck as a symbol of the office of the president, which you now hold with all the rights and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you President Thomas A. Kazee. Thank you, Neil, and good morning, and what a wonderful morning it is. For those of you making your first visit to the University of Evansville, you now have a sense of what I see every day. My office is directly behind me on the second floor of Olmsted Hall. On the occasional moments when I need inspiration or refreshing, I simply look out over sesqu the sesquicentennial oval and drink in the beauty of this place. Let me begin with a few words of appreciation. First, I want to express my gratitude to the folks who've just welcomed me to UE, representing our students, faculty, families, alumni, staff and administration, the city of Evansville, the independent colleges of Indiana, and the United Methodist Church. I'm moved by your words and mindful of the obligation they impose on the leadership of this university to be good and responsible stewards. Thank also to the many delegates from other colleges and universities who've journeyed here today to be part of this celebration. 
Your presence here is especially meaningful given the, given the contributions you and the institutions you're representing have made to the academic community. And I want especially to recognize the presidents of the University of Evansville who have preceded me and who share this platform. President Emeritus Wallace Graves and President Emeritus Stephen Jennings. Thanks for that heartfelt appreciation, expressing our uh, commitment to their leaderships of uh, years of leadership and devotion to the University of Evansville. I'd, I'd like also to convey my deep gratitude to the many people who've played such a crucial role in making this ceremony possible, particularly the faculty, staff, students, and alumni who serve on the Presidential Transition Committee, especially Trustee Dan Miller, who chaired it, and Lucy Hempstead our Director of University Relations, whose inaugural to-do list stretched for many pages. Special thanks as well to those members of the Board of Trustees and friends of the university who have helped to underwrite this event through their philanthropy. Their names are listed in your programs, and I hope you'll share your thanks with them when you get a chance. Thanks also to Larry Horn and UE's dedicated physical plant staff who've made the campus so attractive which is certainly evident today. And I want to special, pay special tribute to Mark Valenzuela, professor of engineering here at UE, who has led our planning efforts for this ceremony. In a recent meeting of our planning group, Professor Valenzuela explained his approach to this event. I'm an engineer, he said, so I like details. And I'm a Catholic, so I like processions. Mark's goal was to create an event that would celebrate concretely and symbolically all that is the University of Evansville, and it is clear that he has succeeded. 